Hey guys, welcome to my channel Create Wealth, where we talk about forex trading. How can we trade forex using expert advisors and robots? Guys, uh, this video is another video about uh, hedge expert, and hedge expert is one of the oldest uh, uh, EA that we have been using from last one year. It's not one year though, uh, but yes, since 2020 actually we have been using, and in this and in this particular account we have been using it from last year. Okay. So it's been a while that I have created any new video. So I just thought that let me uh, create a video today. So I will be creating a video on this hedge expert that I'm doing right now. And I will be creating one more video on uh, the MSPFEA that has been recent. And uh, so let's go ahead. So, so actually the market is about to close in the next few minutes. So hence these uh, movements are pretty fast now. <laughs> okay, because the market is uh, going to be close and hence uh, uh, the spreads and the uh, uh, swap things also will be added in a few minutes. So let's uh, go to the account history. Okay, so I would like to start it from scratch like those people who are watching my video for the first time and even some people who are watching my video <clears throat> earlier also, I would like to start it from the scratch. Guys, uh, this we started it on 19th of July last year and as you can see it over here so i'm going a little fast from here because it will be very difficult for me to show each and every trade but i will create a, a, a report also in the next few minutes so that uh, if you want to watch the report view the report analyze the report you can do that there is a link in the description if you can find there is a download or the view or watch the download uh, report button i mean link that you can click and watch all these reports okay so this account uh, it's almost like uh, from 19th of july till today is 6th of may so it's almost nine and a half months uh, so it is it is just one of the oldest account that i'm running this year and otherwise i have used it in multiple accounts earlier with my with multiple currency pairs and uh, with multiple uh, different settings <coughs> Okay, so guys, uh, these four pairs that I have taken over here, these are randomly chosen. It is not something that uh, this EA works on these just four pairs. Okay, these were randomly chosen. However, I have made a wrong, uh, uh, I mean, choice. I should not have used uh, the AUD pairs, uh, I mean, two AUD pairs together, like Euro AUD and GBP AUD. Both are very much volatile. Okay, I should have used just one pair out of that. But however, since I started and it was working fine, so so even just for you people, uh, I mean, I just thought that let it keep like that. Okay, so now we are in September last year. And some of the people commented on my previous video that your videos are pretty long. I mean, specifically about the hedge expert because the history, it take time to show, right? So, but uh, for the people like who are serious about trading or like who are, uh, who would like to see the consistent history from, from a particular account, because most of the uh, videos that you will see on YouTube, they are either backtesting, okay, or either they are created from different kind of account because they don't even show you what uh, uh, you, the trading history from one account. They will show you. Uh, the um, the profit of one day or something like that from different mobile and uh, but not from one account because they were not able to provide you a history most of the like i'm not talking about everyone and guys one more thing actually th that is what i suggest that at least 1000 us dollars for one pair for 0 0.01 lot okay that is what i suggest uh, but uh, different people have different opinions so I would not like to comment on other people business but it is something that i would like to suggest okay so 1000 us dollars for one pair and 0 0.01 lot that is for either low volatile pair or medium volatile pair i would rather suggest you to diversify this in case if you can afford a couple of thousand dollars like in case if you have 2000 3000 or 4000 it's better to diversify the pair I would uh, rather say don't increase the lot size in one pair. Uh, it is always advisable to add an another pair because it will diversify your, your portfolio because some of the pairs or some of the currency go in one direction, right? 
uh, see like if you are using more GBP pairs, then GBP USD, GBP AUD might go in the same direction. If it is strong, it is going up. It is, if it is not, then it is going low, right? So it is better to diversify the pairs with different other currency pairs. And you need to understand like, uh, uh, I mean, more volatility or more fluctuation in the market will bring you more profit, right? But at the same time, if your equity or money is, uh, is not enough, then probably in that kind of fluctuation, you might able to wash off your account as well. So it's always better to, to keep feeding your account and keep low expectations in terms of profit. Because it is something that uh, the EA is doing on its own. You are not doing anything. You have just bought a VPS, you have just bought a EA and you are trading. Right? It is not something that you are doing anything from your own. So, so without having such kind of, uh, uh, I mean, expertise that you are having in forex trading, you are not having any kind of expertise. But still, if you are, uh, I mean, uh, seeking that kind of returns, then uh, it is useless. Actually, that doesn't make sense. In fact, okay. So these are the randomly chosen pairs. I am saying it once again. If you can go to the download link that is there, you can watch it. That uh, in the past I have used many different currency pairs. Okay. I am just uh, keeping this account just uh, just to make people show or for my understanding as well that uh, this account is doing consistent and it is one of the oldest that I have been using for this particular expert advisor. Okay. So, so as you care about uh, your your own, like you eat good food, you wear good clothes, you do everything that you look dashing. So the same thing applies to the account as well. Okay. So if you want to stay for a longer in forex market, however, that is not certain that because uh, even trading with an EA is not something that is. Uh, uh, I mean guaranteed there, there is no guarantee in forex market because forex market moves on its own it, it doesn't care about what kind of EA that you are using because if it is that easier then probably I mean most of the people can afford an EA and can borrow some money from someone if they don't have and can run the EA and can make their livelihood in that case people will stop working and the economy will collapse right so I would not suggest that and don't even trade with a borrowed money. Don't even borrow money or take loan from anyone to trade Forex. Only trade Forex if you have some extra money and invest the money that you can afford to lose. It is valid over here as well. Okay. I would not suggest anyone to borrow money from anyone. Okay. Or even if you have some money in hand that can be used for your family purpose anytime, then please don't use money that as, as well. Okay. Only use the money that you can afford to lose and seeking some kind of investment to diversify your portfolio. Forex cannot be your primary income unless you have expertise. Okay. Expertise is very important and even the professional traders who have been trading from last 20-30 years, they don't even get that kind of expertise. They even lose money sometimes. Okay. But they can afford to uh, take that kind of risk and they are willing to take those losing trades. There is nothing 100% sure shot in forex market. I am telling it once again that purchasing an EA doesn't guarantee you that you are going to win. Okay. It is you. It is your knowledge. It is it is the kind of strategy that you are using. It is the kind of uh, uh, I mean I would say the risk and money management that you have been doing. These few things will ensure that you are going to sustain longer or shorter in the forex market. Some people just uh, trade just for the few, uh, I mean, just for the sake of taking risk, right? For $200, $300 or something like that. They trade it, I mean, they trade and they lose. They again deposit $300, then again trade, then they again lose, okay? So like in spite of trading it again and again with a few hundred dollars, it's better to start with a strong balance so that your chances uh, to grow will increase. Otherwise, that's going to lose. Unless and until you are very lucky, I mean, that's not going to be possible that you will not lose. Otherwise, uh, with a shorter or smaller money, I would not say smaller because uh, 
I mean, people work so much to earn that kind of money. But in forex market, people are trading with billions of dollars. Okay, and there are various manipulators like big whales, like the big financial institution, and uh, speculators, and even the government reports as well. Whatever news used to publish, sometimes that is also manipulated. I mean, whatever they say is not the exact mirror thing of what is going in the economy. But sometimes it happens and you have to accept that kind because EA doesn't know like uh, what is going on in the world. They don't know about pandemic. They don't know, know about the war situation and and how these situations can affect your trading portfolio. That is very important. You can't blame an EA. Okay. EA can do well. If you are using the right EA, it can do well in normal market scenario. But you should be able to accept the fact that EA doesn't drive the forex market. Any EA. Okay. So. I'm sorry like if uh, some of the people are thinking that I'm giving some lecture or something like that but uh, many of the people I would say more than 50% of the people that it, who come to me uh, about an EA or something actually they are ignorant about Forex. So I used to guide them in the similar way. Okay. So sometimes people fed up and actually they want to hear from me that uh, no this EA is going to produce you two times three times of like whatever you, you invest but I don't do that. So that is my way actually, that is not something that uh, I don't want to interfere in, in other people's business. So we are approaching, it's 14th of, we are in May, uh, we are in March right now. And now we are about to approach April. Okay, so actually uh, just a few minutes back I have already uh, created the report because uh, even uh, after like once you click on create report it takes several minutes because it has a history or a record of like almost uh, nine and a half months ten months right that would be thousands of thousands of trades or could be I mean multiple thousands of trades right so, so I just thought to create the report uh, in advance okay so this is something that you can see with a deposit of 4000 we have made a profit of 9388 in last nine and a half months i think that's great and just th this is the report that i have recently created uh, i mean just few minutes back and you can just match it like today is uh, 6th of may and you can see it over here okay so this is the same thing that like what you have seen so I would not spend much time however if you would like to analyze the report or something like that then I will uh, put this report in the download link uh, maybe tomorrow or maybe day after you can just click on that and you can find different kind of reports from different kind of accounts there okay so I would not spend time because I have already spent time on the account history and it took longer and the video it's almost more than 13 minutes now okay Okay, so these are the running trades right now, minus 160 point something. Okay, and uh, this is what actually most of the people would like to see. So I'm just doing it for your sake currently. Okay, so this is the profit, what is the loss, what is the drawdown, maximal, absolute, or relative. You can just see it over here. Okay. Guys, uh, before analyzing what, what exactly the drawdown is, you need to understand what is maximal drawdown, what is the relative drawdown, and what is the absolute drawdown. There is a huge difference between these three. Okay. So, so that's pretty much it, guys. Actually, I, I just wanted to show you this. And maybe you can view my next video that is on MSPF. And uh, look forward to connect with you sooner. Take care, stay safe, and stay happy with your family.